welcome back to my bake escape i have a question for you do you say caramel or caramel i tend to say caramel because that's the way it's spelled however i do on occasion say caramel and you will probably hear me say it both ways in this video because i have a caramel recipe for you today this recipe is something that you can make it's pretty simple and only requires a few ingredients but it's so delicious and perfect to top on ice cream or to use in other desserts or in coffees and lattes which is what i'm going to use it in later on in this video this is a recipe for my dark salted caramel sauce for the full recipe, visit mybakeescape.com. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest at mybakeescape. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please feel free to do so. I appreciate your support. For this recipe, you will only need a few ingredients. You need granulated sugar, butter, heavy cream, a little bit of salt, and vanilla extract. I would highly suggest that you measure out all of your ingredients ahead of time. This will help in the process because when you make caramel, you're dealing with something that is at a very high temperature and you need to move quickly. And so in order to move quickly so that it doesn't burn, to have everything measured out ahead of time and your station prepped, that's probably the biggest tip that you'll need when making this recipe. Another tip is to have a long oven mitt handy because as you're adding these ingredients to the hot bubbling caramel, sometimes it will splash up and you do not want to burn your hands. So make sure that you have an oven mitt on hand when making this recipe. But to get started, like I said, you only need a few ingredients and what you're going to do is you're going to add the granulated sugar to a heavy lined saucepan and you're going to cook the sugar at a medium heat for about seven to nine minutes as you see here the sugar is starting to cook and melt down this is progress this is what you want to see when making caramel you need to keep an eye on it I would not recommend walking away at all because the sugar can burn pretty quickly and what you're looking for is a deep caramel color but if you aren't careful, it can burn and you do not want a burnt caramel. So just keep your eye on it. So as you can see here, the sugar is really starting to melt down. And you can see that it's starting to turn that amber color and that is where we get the caramel from. It's a caramel color. I didn't want to edit this part because I really wanted you to see how fast the sugar really does melt and how quickly it can darken and burn. So I am keeping an eye on it, swirling the pan as I need to, and it's really starting to melt down now. I'm just waiting for this mixture to start bubbling slightly, and then I'll go ahead and add the other ingredients. Something to think about, this mixture is very, very hot and it will continue to get hotter as we move on in this recipe. And when we're gonna add the butter and the heavy cream, those are both a little cold. They're not cold from the refrigerator. They are room temperature, but there's a drastic difference in temperatures. And so when I add those ingredients to this sugar mixture, it is gonna bubble up. And that is why I suggest using an oven mitt to protect your hands. You want to make sure that your pot is big enough as well because you can see that I have a lot of space in this pot But you'll see later on when I start adding those ingredients how high it will bubble up The most important thing is that you don't panic and that you are careful So all of the sugar has dissolved and is melted down and you can see that it's starting to bubble slightly. 
Now this is a dark caramel sauce, so I am letting it go a little darker than I normally would. Now that it's reached that color, I go ahead and add the butter. Now that the butter has dissolved, the next step is to add the heavy cream. Again, it will bubble up, but it will subside after a few seconds. All right, now it's time to take it off of the heat and we will add the other ingredients. So it has kind of calmed down a bit. We're gonna go ahead and add the vanilla extract. Mix that in. And then now I am using flaked sea salt and I added that, mix that in. This will dissolve beautifully and give it that delicious salty taste. And this is the dark salted caramel sauce. It turned out delicious. It's so silky and smooth. Now this will thicken as it cools. So I went ahead and let it cool for about 10 minutes in the pan and then I poured it into my storage container. I'm using this cute mason jar that has this clasp lid. The caramel will need to be stored in the refrigerator and it can last up to seven days. What I typically use this for is to make iced lattes and you can also use it to top on ice cream. What I would suggest is just scoop out whatever amount you need for and heat it up in another container in the microwave for a few seconds. I use this to make a dark salted caramel ice latte and it was delicious. I used my Nespresso machine to brew a double shot of this Chiaro. I love Nespresso coffee. It's very delicious. And this double shot was just what I needed for this day. I added a little bit of the caramel in every step of this latte. So I'm brewing the espresso and I placed a little bit of caramel in that container so it can melt. I let that hot espresso rest on the counter for 10 minutes and then I placed it in this ice bath to speed up the cooling process because I don't want it to be too warm, it will melt my ice. Next step, I went ahead and made a caramel cold foam to top my ice latte. So I added a little bit of that delicious salted caramel to my Nespresso frother a little bit of sugar-free vanilla. It's what I had on hand. And half and half. And then I went ahead and set it to the cold foam setting. This is what the foam looks like as it's frothing in the Nespresso frother. So while that was frothing, I went ahead and assembled my ice latte. I had this Starbucks iced coffee on hand. I love this and I added a splash to this latte. This was really delicious. 
hope you give this recipe a try soon. If you do, please let me know in the comments what you thought of it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it, especially if you like this type of content. I would appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching and have a sweet day.